McKinley, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about my three favorite reads of the week and my favorite cover of the week for the week of Wednesday, February 16th, 2022. If that sounds like something that is interesting to you, click the subscribe button because I've been doing this weekly for over a year now. Now let's get to the haul, and I'm going to show you this week's books right now, but before I do, I'm going to show you some books that I picked up at the monthly antique fair that we have out here. I didn't even know it was going on. I just happened to wander through and there it was. It happens out in the streets. So you, they block off some streets and I was on my way to the market. And then I saw these books, three boxes, quarter each. Didn't really see any titles that I would, that I collect. You guys know what I like, but I did pick up a few books. So let me show you what they are. I got issue number five of Dominion from Eclipse. I like these. It's manga, right? And I also got issue number six of Dominion. I've never read Dominion before, but I really enjoy the art. The I guess it's the manga art. So I picked them up because they were only a quarter. Now let me show you the other two books I got. I got issue number five. This is actually a weird coincidence because I got issue five of Dominion. I got issue five of Madman as well. In that nice back cover by Kevin Nolan. And coincidentally, this is really number six of Madman. So I got number five of Dominion and number five of Madman and number six of Dominion and number six of Madman. And this one has the nice back cover by, is it, it's Bruce Tim. So those are the books that I picked up for a quarter each. Not too bad. They, I, wouldn't have bought them. It, I would have bought them if they were a dollar each, too. I'll be honest with you. I gave the guy $2. It was only a dollar for the things, but I felt so bad for him because I don't think anybody was buying comic books. So I just said, here, I'll just give you two. Now, that was the old haul. Let me, or the haul from Sunday, let me show you this week's haul. It's a small haul this week. And you know, when I show you the haul, I start off with Marvel, DC, and Image. This week, like most weeks, there is no Marvel books that I picked up. There are no Marvel books that I picked up this week. I'll try and use proper grammar. So let's move on to DC. And I picked up the last issue of Suicide Squad King Shark. I picked up Nightwing. Also in the DC Hall, Detective Comics. That rounds out the DC Hall. Now let me show you what I picked up on Image. Primordial, what's the furthest place from here? That's issue number four. And rounding out the image hall is King Spawn. Now let's move on to the real indies. I picked up Nyx from Dynamite. And rounding out the indie hall is Animal Castle from Ablaze. I'm going to use that cool gold ink. That's a fifth color. So that was the haul. If there was something that came out this week that I didn't pick up, let me know in the comments below because I can probably still pick it up at my LC my, at one of the two LCSs that I have right near me. Are you ready to talk about my favorite cover of the week? Because there were some good ones this week. It was a light week for books, but still a good week for covers. I really enjoyed Ryan Stegman's cover for What's the Furthest Place From Here. I also really enjoyed, this is like a, like a Sears portrait studio photo for Suicide Squad King Shark. This cover is by Tim Seeley and Tony Avina. I totally enjoyed that. That was cute. Lee Bermejo never disappoints with his covers for Detective. For any of his covers, Lee Bermejo is an awesome artist. I was going to say an effing rad artist, but you know I don't like saying stuff like that. Still not my favorite cover. I really enjoyed this cover for King Spawn. Are you kidding me? I How do you say his name? Bjorn Barons? Look at the vultures. You know this is the Vulture Club, and we got vultures right on at the... We got vultures being vultures on this cover. Hard for that to not be my cover of the week. But this week, I got to give it up to my girl, Rose Besh. I love her so much. She's Rose Besh is awesome. She's a great artist. She's a beautiful woman. And she has given us a wonderful cover for Nyx 
This is issue number four of NYX. She's been doing uh, either the A or B covers for NYX, and this is the A cover, if I'm not mistaken, and holy cow. It's sexy. It's kind of designy. Just super rad. I so love Rose Besh, and I am never disappointed with the cover that she does. And once again, this week is no exception. Rose Besh did the cover of the week for me this week. Let me know what your favorite cover was in the comments below. Let's talk about my three favorite reads of the week. And if you've watched a few of my previous shows, you should be able to gather by now that I am pretty much firmly entrenched in the Bat Camp. I'm a Batman fan from way back. And maybe I haven't been collecting all the issues like some of you out there. I'm looking at you, PZ. But I am still a big Batman fan through and through. And Detective Comics did not disappoint. It should not, it should always be noted that I just enjoy this book. Mariko Tomaki has been writing a great story the past few issues and doing it weekly for I think the last month and a half. So that is this issue did not disappoint, but it's not in my top three because there were three other books that I just really enjoyed. Coming in at number three for my three favorite reads of the week is Primordial by Jeff Lemire. This ends the arc and ends the story, I guess is the way it should be said properly. But what a great ending. It's been a fantastic story all the way through. Cold War, espionage, sci-fi, animals in space. It had everything you really could want in a great comic book. But it also had great art, too. My second favorite read of the week should come as not a really big surprise to a lot of you. What's the furthest place from here? I have been enjoying this book a lot. It's just a whole new world that keeps developing and growing. And the last, this issue and the last issue, it ends with a, what the heck is going on? Where are we going to go from here? This is issue four. It did not disappoint. I'm not sure how long it's going to keep going, but good golly, I am on board for the ride. And that is why it's my second favorite read of the week, because I got to the end of the issue and these are, these are, Extra, these are, this is like an issue and a half. You are getting value for money. It was only $3.99. And you are getting a story. You're getting a comic and a half with this book. It did not disappoint. This has been a great value for money book. And it has just been a great overall story. The artwork is, is even good as well. A lot of times you get good writing, but the artwork is kind of eh, eh. Not in this case. I like the artwork and I like the writing. The last two issues, this issue and the previous issue, were ended where I just couldn't wait to see what was going to happen next because I wasn't expecting it to end the way it did. I don't know how long it's going to go on. This is issue four, but I am on board for however long it keeps going if it keeps up at this rate. Now let's move on to my favorite read of the week. And without a doubt, it was... Animal Castle. Oh my gosh. This is the George Orwell Animal Farm story. Just redone. No big surprises. It shouldn't be that exciting of a book to read. But it's a great story. And the twist that they have done to this book. Xavier Dorison and Felix Dillep. The, the twist that they have added to make it their own version have been fantastic. I'm a fan of Miss Bangalore. I, if I remember correctly, that's her name, Miss B, Miss Bangalore. She is a cat, and I love cats, and a great cat hero. This issue had her really just being an inspiring woman, cat. I don't know how you want to say it, but I am enjoying... I liked Animal Farm when I first read it, I'm not disappointed reading this version of, of the story, Animal Mansion. If you're not reading this, you should at least pick it up and trade when it comes out because it's a great story. As if you've read Animal Farm, you know how good of a story it is, but I like the twist that they're doing to this story. So those were my three favorite reads of the week and my favorite cover of the week. 
Let me know what your favorite cover of the week was in the comments below, and tell me what your favorite reads of the week were in the comments below. I do this every week. I've been doing it every week for a year now. So hit subscribe. It won't hurt you. Trust me. Thanks for watching. I know you have so many other boxes to choose from. And like I said before, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I'll see you next week. Peace, love, bunny, and bear.